graph 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. So we are asked to draw the graph for 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. We see that it is a straight line. There is no x to the power of 2 term in it. So it is a straight line. To draw a straight line, we need two points. So what are we going to do? What we can do is, since we are given the equation, we look for the x and y intercepts. What is the x-intercept? Where the graph touches the x-axis. What is the y-intercept? The point where the graph touches the y-axis. So if you know the x and y-intercept points, then we can join those two and extend it and get the line. Is it a straight line? Yes. Where does the line touch the x-axis? On the x-axis, on the x-axis, what do we know? On the x-axis, y is equal to zero. On the x-axis, y is equal to zero. So set y equal to zero and solve for x. When you put y is equal to zero, so you, 3y, go to zero. So you get 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by four and you get x equals three. So what is the ordered pair? What is the ordered pair? 3, 0. So this point is 3, 0. 3, 0. So we have one of the points. Now we need one more and we are done because to draw a straight line, we only need two points. This is our blue point. Now let's get the red point. What is the red point? It is the point where the graph touches the y-axis. On the y-axis, what do we know? On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So you substitute x equals 0 and solve for y. When you substitute x equals 0, this whole thing goes to 0. So you get 3y is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3 and you get 4. 12 divided by 3, 4. Now be very careful. x is equal to 0. y is equal to 4. So 0, 4. In the other one, x came first, 3, 0. For the y-intercept, 0, 4. x is 0, y is equal to 4. So we have 0, 4 and 3, 0. Join those two and we have the line. So 4x plus 3y is equal to 12. 0, 4 is the y-intercept. 3, 0 is the x-intercept. To draw a straight line, we only need two points. So we have the red and we have the blue. We join those two points and we have the line. So here is our graph paper, and then this is 1, 0, this is 2, 0, and this is 3, 0. All right, so here is our point 3, 0. What is the y-intercept? 0, 4. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. 0, 4. We have 0, 4 and 3, 0. So now what do we do? Join those two and we have the line. We join those two, we have the line. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.